Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous videos, we learned about uh, various uh, loss functions like uh, we started from regression loss, classification loss, and then we finished with the uh, ranking uh, loss function, okay? And in this video, we will start learning about uh, optimizers. We will start with like a, a, a simple example where we will train a simple model uh, for uh, addition, like we will say x plus 10, okay? So in general, as the stochastic gradient descent uh, has four steps. So first one is compute loss. So for example, if we have MSC loss, it will be like uh, 1 upon n and then y uh, target minus y hat, which is predicted, and then square. Okay. And the next step is uh, compute the partial derivatives. Okay. So the partial derivatives, like we need to compute for each and every parameters. So now, if you want to compute uh, derivative of uh, uh, MSC with respect to A, we need to uh, uh, replace y hat with the actual uh, function. So in our case, we said it will be a plus bx. So we will simply say yi minus a minus bxi. And when we do the derivative, we will get uh, minus 2, 1 upon n uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n and uh, y minus y hat. Okay, you can find it. Uh, it is quite simple in that sense. And when we run it for uh, p, it will be just x i multiplied with uh, y i minus y hat. Okay. And then we simply run the update for both the parameters. Okay. So we will uh, learn it in detail in the next video because if you will go in that depth, it will be a bit bigger. In this video, we will mainly uh, look at like how we can implement uh, a stochastic gradient descent uh, uh, in PyTorch. Okay. So let us dive in and start implementing. So First, let us create um, uh, data. So let us say x is equal to torch dot tensor. So let us first import it and then torch dot tensor. And let us say uh, the input is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now let us say y is nothing but torch dot tensor is a tensor which is like plus 10. So it will be 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. And let us change the D type to be float because when we compute the uh, loss, uh, we need to pass both the types as a same data type. And when we uh, multiply it like A plus BX, we will get as output to the float. Okay. Torch dot float. Okay. Now let us define our model. So let us say we have uh, a parameter a, which is uh, torch dot rand n, and the size is just one. And then the main thing is uh, this uh, required grad is equal to true. Okay. And let us also define a d type is equal to torch dot float. And let us copy the same thing for B. Okay. And to work with uh, PyTorch optimizers, you need to have a model with parameters as a list. Okay. So let us define our model then. So let us say it is a list and let us call parameter. And then let us pass A. Again, we call parameter. Let us pass B. Yeah, and this is our model okay now we have the data we have the model and now let us define our uh, loss function let us call it criterion okay and let us uh, use msc loss okay import it as well and then dot msc loss now let us define our uh, optimizer so we will use uh, simply uh, torch dot optim and then we will use sgd okay what it needs it needs simply the model and learning rate we won't go in like uh, momentum part it has a momentum implementation as well so let us pass it 0 
probably in a later video we will look into it okay now let us uh, simply uh, iterate for an epoch so let us say for epoch in range let us call it 500 epoch okay and what we will do is we will uh, first we need to do optimizer dot zero grad so this is the first thing that you need to do and then we will see what would be the output from the model okay and how we will do is we will simply say model zero which is nothing but a plus model one which is b into x train we have x okay is wrong with this y predicted okay now what we need to do is we just need to compute the loss loss is equal to criterion and what we call we pass y predicted and y which is y target and then we simply call loss dot backward which will compute the gradient for us and then we call simply optimizer dot step which will run the third step update the parameters okay and then we can simply run it for an epochs let us uh, print like um, x y and y predicted and see like if also let us print the loss and loss okay now let us run and see like uh, it should be able to learn like a should be um uh, 10 and b should be 1 okay because it is simply like 10 plus 1 into x and that's what we get as a y so let us uh, okay let us print the parameters as well so we can simply say model 0 and model 1 okay so let us run and see the output so So now you can see like here we have the x and here we have the y and the predicted tensor is like 10 around 11 12 13 14 and 15 okay so this is like simple uh way of uh, showing like how we can use uh, uh optimizers in uh pytorch so we can simply change it to any other like we can say adapt to momentum and it should work as similar to the other one Okay, so we'll get uh, similar results approximately. It didn't converge like uh, uh, expected, but it is approximately. So uh, probably we need to uh, increase the learning rate and so on. Okay, so this is like how we can use uh, uh, optimizers in PyTorch. In the next video, we will try to understand a bit more details about uh, uh, SGD, like, uh, and we will compare with like uh, manual implementation. Okay. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.